June 28, 1914, Sarajevo, a vibrant hub in the Balkans. Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie arrived. Their visit was a display of imperial strength. Instead, it became a tragedy that changed history. As their motorcade wound through the streets, an assassin waited. Gavrilo Princip, a young Serbian nationalist, saw his opportunity. Shots rang out, echoing through the summer air. The Archduke and his wife were fatally wounded. This act sent shockwaves across the globe. The assassination was a catalyst for global conflict. The world watched as peace in Europe crumbled. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand was not an isolated incident. It was the culmination of decades of simmering tensions in Europe. Nationalist movements challenged the empire's authority. Franz Ferdinand's assassination provided that spark. Austria-Hungary issued an ultimatum with Germany's backing. A complex web of alliances began to unravel. What began as a localized conflict quickly escalated into a global war. The Great War, a conflict of unprecedented scale and brutality, had begun. Franz Ferdinand's life was marked by both privilege and tragedy. Born into the Habsburg dynasty in 1863, he was destined for power. He developed a keen interest in military history and strategy. However, tragedy struck early in his life. His marriage to Sophie Chotek excluded his descendants from succession. Despite constraints, Franz Ferdinand was not content to be a figurehead. He recognized the growing tide of nationalism within the empire. Franz Ferdinand believed the empire needed to adapt to survive. Franz Ferdinand's views were contradictory, earning him a reputation as both a reformer and a hardliner. He recognized the need to appease the empire's diverse nationalities. He proposed granting greater autonomy to some ethnic groups. He believed a federalized structure could alleviate tensions. This put him at odds with the Hungarian elite. His vision of reform was limited by his own prejudices. He remained a staunch supporter of the Habsburg dynasty. He opposed any form of separatism for the empire's subject peoples. He advocated for a strong military and assertive foreign policy. He believed the empire needed to project strength to deter rivals. This duality made Franz Ferdinand a complex and controversial figure. His supporters saw him as a visionary leader who could modernize the empire. His detractors viewed him as an out-of-touch aristocrat. His assassination left the question of his true intentions unanswered. Franz Ferdinand's legacy remains a subject of debate among historians. Some argue his reforms might have prevented the First World War. Others contend his vision was too flawed to save the empire. Franz Ferdinand's life and death were linked to the fate of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. His assassination exposed deep fissures within the empire and catalyzed the outbreak of war, the shadow of succession. Franz Ferdinand's relationship with his uncle, Emperor Franz Joseph, was complex and often strained. As heir presumptive, Franz Ferdinand was acutely aware of the weight of expectation upon his shoulders. Full of ideas and ambition, he chafed under the constraints of his position. Franz Joseph viewed his nephew's reformist ideas with suspicion. The Emperor's reluctance to cede any authority created a palpable tension. His untimely death left behind a legacy of unfulfilled potential and unanswered questions. The Austro-Hungarian Empire, stretching from the Alps to the Carpathians, was a land of remarkable diversity. Over 50 million people called this empire home, representing a mosaic of ethnicities, languages and religions. Germans, Hungarians, Czechs, Slovaks, Poles, Ukrainians, Romanians, Serbs, Croats, Slovenes, Italians. Each group contributed to the empire's rich tapestry. This diversity, however, was also a source of profound tension. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand tragically exposed these deep-seated divisions. Economic disparity and political unrest. The Austro-Hungarian Empire faced a growing economic divide in the early 20th century. Industrial growth in Bohemia and Austria contrasted with rural poverty in other regions. This disparity fueled resentment and social unrest. The complex political system struggled to address these challenges. The 1867 Compromise granted autonomy to Hungary but marginalized other ethnic groups. Franz Ferdinand sought reform but faced resistance, leading to his assassination. Economic disparities, political instability and rising nationalism threatened the empire. June 28, 1914 dawned bright and festive in Sarajevo. The city, adorned with flags and banners, prepared to welcome Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie. Yet beneath the surface of celebration, an undercurrent of tension ran through the city. 
Security was tight with police and soldiers patrolling the streets. The couple then boarded an open-top Grafenstift automobile for the procession through the city. Unbeknownst to them, a group of young conspirators, armed and waiting, prepared to make their move. The stage was set for a tragedy that would forever alter the course of history. The Archduke's visit to Sarajevo was plagued by security lapses and unfortunate coincidences. A young Bosnian Serb nationalist, Nedeljko Kabrinovic, hurled a bomb at their car. The bomb bounced off and exploded under the car behind, injuring bystanders. Kabrinovic was captured and revealed a larger group of conspirators. The Archduke insisted on continuing his visit with a modified itinerary. He decided to visit the injured at the hospital. Confusion over the motorcade route created a fatal delay. The driver slowed down near the Latin bridge. Gavrilo Princip, a Bosnian Serb nationalist, stood nearby. He drew his pistol, seizing the unexpected opportunity. These events created a perfect storm, sealing the Archduke's fate. A day of celebration turned into chaos and tragedy. Time seemed to stand still as Gavrilo Princip aimed his pistol at the Archduke and his wife. Two shots rang out, piercing the summer air. The second bullet hit Franz Ferdinand in the neck. The scene descended into chaos. The news spread like wildfire, sending shockwaves through Europe. This event ignited European tensions, leading to the First World War. Young Bosnia seeds of revolution. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand was not the act of a lone gunman. It was a carefully planned conspiracy by young Bosnia. They yearned for an end to Austro-Hungarian rule in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Fueled by nationalism, they saw violence as the means to achieve a unified South Slav state. Gavrilo Princip embodied the spirit of young Bosnia. Born into poverty, he witnessed the hardships under Austro-Hungarian rule. He moved to Belgrade, immersing himself in the nationalist movement. Princip joined young Bosnia, drawn to its message of liberation. They saw the Archduke's visit as an opportunity to strike. Franz Ferdinand symbolized Habsburg tyranny. They believed his assassination would spark a wider uprising. Fueled by youthful zeal, they embarked on their mission. They believed their actions would liberate their people. The Black Hand's shadow. Young Bosnia provided the foot soldiers, but the Black Hand played a shadowy role. This secret society known as Unification or Death aimed for a unified Serbian state. The Black Hand used espionage, sabotage and assassination. Historians debate the Black Hand's involvement in Franz Ferdinand's assassination. Some believe the Black Hand provided crucial support to young Bosnia. Several Black Hand members, including Dmitrievic, knew of the plot. The Black Hand's existence highlights the volatile atmosphere in the Balkans. The assassination played into the Black Hand's hands, triggering war. A calculated act, a chaotic outcome. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand was a calculated act of political violence. The conspirators believed their actions would spark a wider uprising among the South Slavs. However, the assassination had consequences far beyond their imagination. Instead of triggering a popular uprising, it set off a chain reaction that plunged Europe into World War I. The assassination stands as a stark reminder of the law of unintended consequences. The news of Franz Ferdinand's assassination sent shockwaves across Europe. Telegraph wires buzzed with the news, spreading disbelief and horror. Governments scrambled to assess the situation. Newspapers published special editions with banner headlines. Crowds gathered eager for news and anxious about the future. European leaders confronted the prospect of a continent-wide war. In the aftermath of the assassination, Austria-Hungary sought Germany's support to crush Serbian nationalism. Kaiser Wilhelm II offered Austria-Hungary a blank check, pledging unconditional support. Emboldened, Austria-Hungary presented Serbia with an ultimatum designed to be unacceptable. The ultimatum contained harsh demands, including Austro-Hungarian participation in the investigation. Serbia, given 48 hours, faced an impossible choice, submit or risk war. Serbia appealed to Russia for support. Russia began to mobilize its army, escalating the crisis. The July crisis became a tense game of diplomatic chess among the great powers. Despite frantic diplomatic efforts, the July crisis escalated. Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia on July 28, 1914. Russia mobilized. Germany declared war on Russia and France and invaded Belgium. Great Britain declared war on Germany. The great powers of Europe were at war. 
The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand had become the catalyst for a global conflict. The Great War was a war of attrition, fought in muddy trenches. New technologies like machine guns, airplanes and poison gas transformed the battlefield. It shattered empires, toppled dynasties and scarred a generation. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand was the catalyst for a global cataclysm. The world that emerged from the First World War was vastly different from the one that existed before. Empires crumbled, borders were redrawn and millions lay dead. The Austro-Hungarian Empire disintegrated, new nations emerged from the wreckage. The war shattered the social order of Europe. The working classes emerged with a new sense of power. The assassination marked the end of an era. It ushered in an age of uncertainty and violence. Over a century after Gavrilo Princip fired those fateful shots in Sarajevo, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand continues to resonate. It serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the devastating consequences of unchecked nationalism. The lessons of Sarajevo are as relevant today as they were in 1914. It is more important than ever to strive for peaceful resolution of disputes. The choices we make have the power to shape the destiny of nations. Let the memory of Sarajevo serve as a beacon guiding us towards a more peaceful world.